Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next I like to tell you that why I purchase this uh, volt stick meter and this is really interesting and useful machine and tool because that part is many ways really useful. Okay and here I have this ball stick and this ball stick is really useful device because it warns and gives alarm if we have dangerous electricity and voltage in some components. And I have I have I have here a couple of tools where we could measure this voltage and there is this Remel multi-tool what works in this normal home electricity and in inside in that cable is this dangerous voltage and also in this part in inside behind of these plastic covers. And now I can show that how this volt stick warns and gives alarm. When I insert that my stick in here and, and now when it don't give any liked message in here. It means that here is no any electricity. But then when I connect this cable in this this electric box we can look that what happens then. Look in that area. This is the core point idea in this ball stick. It gives this liked information. And some better ball stick, there is even also this light and signal in here. And when it noticed this uh, electricity inside in this this uh, black cable, it gives this red light and then also signal like beep, beep. And and these these better ball sticks, they cost about twice amount than. This one, this cost about 20 US dollars and 20 euros and, and this stick is really useful to use. And then I like to show a couple of things that where I use that and why I bought that ball stick. First one is that when I start to repair like some electric device like in that one, I always like to check that hey, is there this dangerous and risk of life uh, currency in here or inside in that area. And I can I can see that, that when I check in here, inside in that area, it, it notice that and also in here. And that means that that this this device is dangerous. Okay, it is it is bad. Okay, and that's that's I know that I can't cut like this cable with my scissors in that way because if I use my scissors and I cut that cable like in this way then I will quite I have big possibility that if I touch these metallic parts that I could give a deadly electric shock and it is it is really really dangerous and that's I use always when I do anything in before, it is important before I check that this is dangerous, and then I check some other stuff what I have in here that we can check. This is battery charger, and let's look that is there. Uh, there is this cable what comes in this home electric box, and these two cables are red and black plus plus and minus. They go to this car's battery. 12 volt system and let's check that how this my system works it it says that in here is dangerous uh, currency and also is it noticed that in these cables could be harmful uh, voltage but i i think that now this is only so sensitive uh, device and tester that it noticed because there should be 12 volts but it is good to be more sensitive than totally dummy product. And then I have here is also this standard halogen 
a home lamp, what is interior, and and when we start to change this, like this bulb and lamp in here, it is always good to check that is here this electricity inside in that area. Because if we start to replace this bulb and we insert our fingers in here inside in that hole where this bulb goes, we could get this deadly electric shock. And that I used at my voltage meter and now it right away warns that hey, here is something something dangerous and be aware that soon we, you will be dead and also in here it, it noticed that in these cables and it also noticed that that electric cable what goes inside in this metallic pipes okay and then i have the last one what is really interesting i have this computer uh, my computer speakers in here and this is this this should be like small voltage in here inside in because this is USB cable very low voltage but that that my stick also measures that in here is some kind of voltage and it is interesting that there could be a little bit harmful voltage I believe that this is not deadly but it is not 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 good to do anything stupid when this light is on. Okay, and then a little bit, couple of words when you are uh, maybe to plan purchase this uh, this uh, volt stick tester. What what I should to check when I am planning to purchase this kind of stick? There is there is situation that couple of things I will tell to you. Okay, couple of things when we are planning to purchase that stick. First thing is that this stick must be high quality stick. And what means this high quality stick? There is no, in my my rule is that that this stick has and must be made in high quality countries. And what are those high quality countries? First one is of course USA. It's it's the topest one. And then the second is always the Japan. Japanese product. They are excellent quality. And then we have a couple of those Western high quality countries like in this England and of course this Finland and Sweden. And this my stick has been made in Sweden. There is this logo. And and Swedish they produce high quality tools like in that one and I can trust my life in that Swedish stick because because I I believe that these engineers they have made good work but but be always aware that that when you work with electricity it is really dangerous that don't trust always even that stick because this gives only like 70 or 80 percent guarantee that there is no currency always use some other measurement stick and unplug all cables and fuses but this is like in like first tester very, very fast it 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 noticed those things right away this is the best best thing and then of course this in this stick that how this stick works there is a sensor in here what detects this electromagnetic field and for that detecting it needs batteries and they are easy to replace so that I rotate that cap in here and there I have two these high quality Duracell double this AA is this 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 Duracell RR03 batteries this is like small small Duracell battery and these batteries goes in that my my tester in that way there is hole and this goes also and these materials are there are, is copper these are really high quality product and this what bolt stick and and like in normal handyman's tool 
Okay, and this was this information and thank you for watching and have a nice day to you.